because it's magic. Speaking of magic, hello and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune. Steve and Adam show with Steve and Adam. I'm Steve. That's Adam. Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's always the other way. Uh, well, uh, we are just chugging along, loving this yeah, reboot, having a blast. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, it's actually quite enjoyable going back and recapping all of these uh, situations and solutions that we haven't looked at in many, many months or years. I'm uh, actually enjoying knowing more things in, as we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wait, did I know more than Steve did about that one? This is great. Yeah, yeah it's quite nice. It, uh, it means that I'm no longer carrying the show. Oh, all right, fair. fair. <laughs> Shots uh, yeah. not fired. Um, all right, so let's get to it. Let's hurry up. What's, move what's, on. what's today? Linux. What? Linux. So if you've been following the channel, you've noticed we did Linux eh, probably six months ago or something. Me and Ben did it. Um, but hey, we're, it's all part of the reboot. We're doing the same thing again. Uh, sorry, Ben. Uh, you can go back and watch the one with Ben. It was fun because he couldn't figure out his password because his stupid keyboard was really great. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, let's see. Hey. We're going to gonna switch over to this dude. And, yes. Um, okay. So we're just going to go through the docs, are we? Adam? I mean, not really, but sort oh, of. Okay. Yes, because, uh, yeah. So... For the purpose of this demo, uh, we used we're using Hyper V, and I didn't I've never done this. There's a quick create option in Hyper V that we use. Yes, there and, is. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to deviate for a moment, except because Adam's very time. very excited about this one. Is, you know, it yeah. was neat. I, I it is. It is very cool. I, I agree. Never had a reason to do it, and it was like, oh, that's cool. So uh, if we look here under Hyper-V, you can just do, go to quick create and you get to pick an operating system that you want. And we just grabbed Ubuntu, drop this down and you can uh, change the name of it. You can connect it to a switch and uh, you're off. I tried the Windows 11 when it, it bailed on the download so I didn't continue, but theoretically that should work too. Um, yeah. So pretty neat, uh, easy, quick and easy to stand this up in your lab to test it. Pretty cool way to do it. So uh, highly recommend it. It was, I mean, it. I logged in and I was there. It was, it was ready to go. Um, okay, so back to the main deal. Let's go back to share the window. Ubuntu. There we go. That's so the one. we are sitting at an Ubuntu desktop, and I've just lost my browser window because I don't know how this stuff works. So, so um, the task bars are on the left hand side there. Adam. I got it. Got it. Okay. So what we've done is we've added uh or we've got the the Linux um Intune doc open. Uh because so for we reference. Are going to shamelessly copy and paste because you don't want to sit here and watch me needs type to this. Be typed in. Yep. So okay, so but let's let's take a step back. So there are some requirements on enrolling your Linux device. Specifically, you need to have um, uh, Ubuntu desktop or GNOME. Um, 22 or... Yeah, 22 or Yeah, 22 or higher. Sorry. Yeah. You uh, cannot do this on that other, any of the other, as if there's only one, uh, any of the other uh, Linux distros at the moment. And the overall... Well, you purpose, can, but there's no guarantee it will work. Well, then that means you can't. From an enterprise, it might work. It okay. might not. If you want to be supported, <laughs> whatever. Do follow Steve's advice. See where it gets you. It's fine. Um, Don't come. Report back. Let us know which work. other ones you've tried it on. So, anyway, you can go and figure out how to do all the all that all those bits here. Um, also, we've already pre-installed the Edge browser, and then this this is the bit that we're working on is on yep. going to install the the app. Um, and then once you've installed it, then this is how you enroll it. Super easy, um, works great. The also note you can't use Windows Subsystem for Linux two you uh, WSL two you uh, to do this because it doesn't work either because it's not doing a full version of 
Ubuntu. I think so, it needs a, a GUI or something to function. Yeah, yeah, it would definitely need a GUI, and that's not going to pop yep. correctly with WSL. So because it's a subsystem. So uh, and then the reason we want to do this, Steve, is um, for conditional access for compliance. Uh, you can uh, then, uh, uh, and we're not going to go through the compliance policy part this round because we're going to bundle all that together for all of our compliance policy video later. Um, or you can w go watch the old one and get a sneak peek. But that's why we're doing it. You're not. There's not any other Linux functionality available um, from Intune at this point. Oh, you can run this. scripts. There you go. Uh, also, you uh, this you're enrolling a personal device in it, um, and if you've ever gone in and looked at the personal the device enrollment options within Intune, you'll notice that Linux is not one of the OSs listed there, uh, which means anybody can enroll their device, their personal device into um, Intune for Linux. Uh, but there's not really much going on there anyway at this point, so probably not a huge risk. In that happening but just keep that in mind there's no real way to block this um yeah. unless you probably could put in some conditional access policies in advance oh, to sure say just could. don't let enrollment happen for linux if we don't want it all right so to move forward we are going to go install curl let's see if this stuff works i don't know if it will but we will give it our shot okay so, so what i'll get you to do there adam is uh zoom it in a bit if we can I have no idea if I can. Let's see. Uh, let's go to you. Did that help you at all? Because it didn't help uh, me. At yes. All. It did. Yeah. Really? Words bigger. Okay. Um, I think so anyway. <laughs> that doesn't work. Let's see. If anybody know yep, how to make correct. this bigger. It's preferences. Uh, Here we go. Terminal size. No. Uh, text size. Yeah, that's what you want. Text, initial That's text terminals. appearance. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think don't it's know. going to be. I'm so the... glad that we've decided to go off the rails already. Yes. So good. So if you uh, go there, and then I reckon that's cool. I'm font. Sure there it is. Custom font. font. Mono space. There we go. Let's just. And then just down the bottom. Perfect. All right. So select. I think that will provide a much better experience. There yes, we go. Okay. As if you can't just view it on the docs page that we could have zoomed in right here. But hey, whatever. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> we're doing the right thing. That's right. All right. So we're going and installing curl. So we hit enter. And Adam has to put in the password for Adam, which the is just Adam. His password. <laughs> My password is 123. Um, so while that's running through, Adam, what we'll do is we'll just scroll down on the right-hand side in the docs page. And what you'll see is there's two different versions that you can install there. There's the 20.04 version and the 22.04 version. So what you'll have noted earlier is when we were talking about it, we said it would support, we, uh, it supports 22.0. 0. 20 was previously supported. Now 22 is what you should be on. So now we're going to paste this in. I hope this works. Whoa, whoa. Can't do that the way I intended. Okay, so we, ooh, that's, yeah. That's Just hit copy. Doing the whole, the whole pile all at once. So oh, I think this will throw errors. Yeah, this is where we had trouble last time as well. Yeah. Um, Okay, so so what you need, need to do is I open need Notepad. Up notepad. Yep. Text sort. editor. Text, text editor. There we go. Let's do that. Paste in there. Now we got yep. something to work from. Correct. Okay. I'm not going to worry so, about zooming that one in so much. But no. Do one at a time. Okay. Can copy it, and we're going to paste it in there. And it's downloaded something. So that's getting the, um, this is the key ring. Yeah, correct. Uh, trusting Microsoft's installer and package stuff, I believe. That's correct. So it's basically. Super technical terminology. 
it's adding the Microsoft downloader to the path for uh, or signing keys to Some, allow it to install. And something, Jamie. something Jamie Dodgers or whatever. Isn't that a, I a don't snack know. of some sort? You cool. All right. So now we got. So it. now, yep, just go to a pseudo APT update. And then the grand finale. Yep. Install into. Yay. Yes. I mean, it's a high barrier to entry here. Like, yeah, I, you're not just going to go accidentally enroll your device like you would if you signed into the browser and and then you in Windows, you get prompted like, do you want your company to completely take over your personal device without you realizing you've just said yes? Yeah. Um, cool. So that's done. And it's just finishing off the last little bit of it. Then what you'll notice is it'll keep it up to date via the software updater engine. Does this just work? <laughs> no, we're shutting down. You have to reboot. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's going to take like two hours to reboot. Well, yeah. well. didn't like that either. How about this? Is there an option here to shut down? I don't know how to shut down uh, the OS. Up the top here. corner. It's oh, that top power right. button. There it is. Yep. Restart. 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 If you watch the last video that we did, you will find that I'm just as proficient in Linux as now as I was then. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Because he's used it an additional one hour since then. And that was us setting it all up and getting it all working. I mean, yeah, I clicked on some things and things happened. Okay, so at this point, we should have an Intune application. There it is. Yep. So you just sign in. Indeed. We should really set up some multi-factor on our stuff too. Uh, yes, we probably should. We have not yet, and we may do that as a video for our compliance video because yeah um it's worth noting that the this device is not in intune right now in the intune portal correct in our intune tenant but steve is going to show us through the magic of television oh look but i'm go over here cursed with steve's or with ben's uh ben's. can't remember my password thing Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Hang on. So you'll see here there's no devices there. Ah, okay. There you go. There we go. All right. So we have to tell it to register our device. Yes. Yes, please. So probably one thing that you'll know, one thing that you'll note is uh, hit send. Um, one thing that you'll note is that the um, initial bar to entry was a lot lower. So what we'll do, yeah, we'll go to try sign in again and see if that works, Adam. <laughs> they must have already had one Linux device register for the day. See, Steve can't joke with me nearly as much because he works for Microsoft now, and so he he feels that he will lose his job if he just really sticks it to him. But I no, no. I, I I don't think I will lose my job. It's just not professional, Adam. <laughs> what part of this video channel has ever felt professional? Look at that! All right, set up access. Cute. Okay, now. Uh, we hit begin. What can my organization see or do? They can view the model and serial number, see the names of the apps, identify your device, and view information collected by work apps and networks. All right, try it again. Uh, 
that. It looks pretty positive. So far, so good. Compliant meets your company's requirements. All right. So, well, do we have a machine? Switch Not over. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking. I'm just going to flip it over. And so you'll see, like, this sort of looks like company portal because it's so just, let's it's start the compliance, with this it's the compliance node out of company portal, basically. Um, um, but that's so it. Adam, I'm on the Intune portal. Just for what? reference. I've already flipped over to my device to see if the device is in the Intune portal. We discussed this. That's fine. It's fine. I'm just referring to the <laughs> fact that you would have seen when you were looking at it, it looks like. Yeah. Anyway, carry on, Steve. Oh, I will. Um, so I'm on the Intune portal, obviously. And surprise, surprise. And we're going to go devices and we're going to see Linux over here. Still hasn't come through yet. It's slowly processing through everything. Um, what so it's amazingly question. compliant though. Exactly. So that's because there is no compliance policy for Linux. So that's very easy to be compliant. Um, but what can we actually do? Uh, hey, hang on. I said compliance policy. Why is that saying settings catalog? Because they're now settings catalog backed policies. In compliance policy. Yeah. Are they? What do you think Dano's been doing? That's pretty cool. I mean, that one doesn't say settings catalog. Yeah. But, but the Linux one, since it's new, they built it on yeah. settings catalog. That's very cool. Hang on, let's see if it's come through yet. Hey, I mean, look. I've hit refresh over here a couple of times on it. But you couldn't see that because you had already scared, switched the screens. It's fine. I had. So it was moving magic behind the scenes. It's fine. But Adam decided to spoil it and tell you what's going on. Um, so we've got our device name here. It's corporate owned. And then from a simple, simplistic point of view, we have the ability to view the hardware, which is surprisingly sparse. Um, we have the device configuration, which is if you've sent out any compliance policies because it's device compliance, not configuration. Diagnostics, where if you've done any sort of diagnostics on it, cool. And your group membership, that's it. Thank you for Steve, for demonstrating that you can navigate the menus and read the screens. Yes, I can, Adam. Yes, yes, I can. And if we I stop will... now, we can just have a short video and be done. Good. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. All right. So, folks, uh, stay tuned for when we do the compliance policies part. Or if you just followed along, you can probably figure your way through the compliance <laughs> policies <laughs> on your own. Um, but that's it. So that's enrolling a, a Linux device in Intune. Done. Simple. Yay. All right. On to the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.